Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of the Ibiza Save. It is me, to be frank, and here we go. Um, a few things to go over since last episode. Definitely had to play around with tactic. You can see that already. Uh, brought on by just mixed results in the last episode, and I did say it was time for a change. And uh, this is what I've gone with. It's a bit more of a traditional tactic. It's, uh, I hate playing a four-two-three-one shape in general, but. You, oh, sometimes you can't. Oh, well, here am I. Sorry. Sometimes you just can't beat them. But I've still tried to avoid wingers. I, I typically just don't play wingers. I mean, if I can help it, I just I find them boring. I mean, it's not nothing to do. They're obviously incredible for the if you're playing them. But I just I just don't. I find them boring playing in the game. I've done millions of saves and had some of the best wingers in the world. And I, it's not really what I'm trying to go for with this team. And to be fair, I haven't been buying wingers for three years, so I can't play them if I don't have them. I, I really don't have them. <laughs> Anyway, it's a very simple tactic. It's a bit of a re reworking on what basically we had before. Um, you can see it here. I might up, um, put it available for upload, obviously, if you're impressed with results and so on, but still to be determined. But I will show you how we've played with it. We've done well. Um, I think we lost. Yeah, we last left you on the two all game, I'm pretty sure. We beat Batiste 1 0. I'll just flick through the goals now, or a few of them for you. Um, I'll just slow it down because obviously I play very quickly in between episodes. Not as in my actual time. It takes me ages to play a game, but the actual game itself, I, I typically just rush through um, speed-wise, that is. Just a 1-0 win here. Uh, Vignato and the Quali Triana, but it was a lovely little link-up. Nice tap in, easy goal for um, Wolf to score. Um, but he put it away with ease. Bayacano, um, more or less a last-minute goal from Turkey, which was some effort, if I do believe so. I will just show you because I think it was a cracking goal. They also had a goal disallowed in the 92nd minute, which was impressive. So obviously, we hung on with our um, the skin of our teeth to get all three points here. Yeah, that I'll rewind it quickly. Sorry, one second. It doesn't save the speed you play at, but oh, that's in. chill. Cool. Here we go. Um, really simple. <laughs> he just kept running into the box. No one closed him down, and he put everything behind it to smash that into the top right corner. Um, Al Maria was next, 1 3 2. I mean, goals from Vignato, Wilf, and Bessa. Uh, followed that with another win, an own goal from Monju and Vignato scoring again. I um, believe we were quite fortunate this game to win. No, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great game, was it? And we felt that we were a draw away. So, four, four wins on a go, which is fantastic since changing tactic. And we didn't actually continue that into better form. We did draw here as well. This episode, we've got Zaragoza and Celta, uh, Celta Vigo, sorry. And, and then probably that'll be the last, ep well, not the last episode of the season, but the second last episode of the season. And hopefully we can stay within this area of where we are right now, which is a pretty good spot. We're um, two points off getting into sixth and fourth is not a distant dream, is it? I mean, they're on 52 and even third's on 52. We're four points away from third, which is mad. It's such a mix up from, obviously these two are playing for the title or whatever, leave them alone. But from third to well, oh, I mean, you could even say Valencia. That could be anyone, even Batista on 43. So it's a proper mix-up in the top of the top of the charts. In terms of stats over here, you can only see Wilf is the only one really breaking any like, well, breaking the mould really. He's um he's got 19, 16 goals in the league this season. So carried on his fantastic form. Um, what his minimum fee is 59, but he's valued 26 to 34. Definitely someone I'd probably consider selling. As much as I love him and he's a guaranteed gold machine, um, you can't turn that type of stuff down. And I've tried to think for the future. Obviously, we're going to be losing Cherokee. We might sell people. Uh, Duran is just a backup goalkeeper. There isn't too much to say there. I will just quickly show you. But like, he is literally a backup goalie. He's not really to be playing. However, I'm very excited by Abdallah Seema. Um, oh, a cracking player. He had um, he broke, broke into the scene at uh, Slavia Prague. Had a really good, but then signed by Stoke um, in the championship, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, 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 by Brighton and then loaned out to, to Forrest. His contract has run down. We've managed to get him on the free, which is fantastic. Some of the stats he has are great. He can play both wings, can play up front, which is where I'll typically be playing him. He's six foot two, really quick um, for his height, and he can finish. So someone will be playing up top for us next year, 100%, probably with Wilf if he stays. But yeah, really good to get him in. He's not on a lot of wage. Um, I've given him loads of bonuses though, so really embarrassing. 
<laughs> where is it? Oh, I can't see it yet. I'll show you when he joins. But he's only being paid about four grand a week, which is fantastic. Anyway, we've got decent money in the bank, which is all good. Um, play these games. And then obviously for the last episode, which will be next episode, we'll probably see our budget and have a little end of season review where we are. Hopefully we've got some type of European football to play for next year. That's the aim. So let's get into the first game. I'll join you back in a second. And here we are for the Zaragoza game at home. So you've gone for the team of Bellman, Bonsalve, Javi Sanchez, Rego, Triana, Milanese, Daniel Bessa, Cherky, Nicoali, Vignata and Wilf. Notice we've got four Italians here. Same building here, bit of an Italian job. Either way, we're playing bottom of the league. I'd expect to win nine times out of ten, obviously, but um, we'll see. Just give them typical stuff and, um, yeah, make sure we've got key highlights on and slow down a bit. Here we are. Hopefully, it's a very simple game for us. I'd expect us to win, honestly. But you've always got to go out and actually put the ball in the net. That's the hardest thing in football, isn't it? Vada for the 40 yards out, nearly scores. Well done for not conceding straight away. Uh, I'll leave it. Cherky over a corner. On Salve. Get in. What a header. Is that his first goal? Yes, it is. First goal for Ibiza. Lido Monsalve. What a header from the Colombian. That is a bullet. Love that. I want to see a replay. Here we are. He just beats everyone to the ball. The keeper is stranded. That is ping straight into the top corner. What a header from the man. Out of interest, how tall is it? Well, you haven't got time to check. Grego, oh, could have made it two straight away. Defenders really pulling up um, some trees today. One salve, a you youth, six foot. It's not huge. Triana's big. Triana's like six foot something. Yeah, six foot three. Look at this monster here. Yeah, both of them, big boys, very physical players. Um, not just quick and very good at their job. They're also defensive units, uh, which is good. I love, um, obviously, a, a nimble like fullback. There's no problem at all. But when they're nimble and obviously physically impressive, oh, Wilf, that's terrible. That, it's a good thing, but that isn't. <laughs> that miss from Wilf is not. Have a good good positive start to the episode. Um, one new up already. Bard is over a corner for Zaragoza, though. Oh, it's just over. Unlucky for them. Um, they are bottom of the league. How are they actually doing? Are they miles off? They are. Yeah, look, they're, they're knackered. Minus 43 goal difference like that. They really are knackered. <laughs> I don't think there's much hope for them if they're not already down. Anyway, straight into the second half. Very quick game. Things are flying by. Not many highlights at all other than that lovely header from on Saturday. Um, but not much else has happened. Um, I might just try and switch things up here and uh, secure this game to see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, I might go for the two up top. I'll mix things around a bit. Um, just take off people who are a bit tired. That'll do. We'll save two. But I'll go for the two up top. It's, it's, um, it's actually less attacking than the other tactic, honestly. Um, and it's one they're more familiar with, so it might give us a bit more. Oh, that's a great answer. Ivan A's on straight away. Well, changing the... The, the, the top half of the pitch doesn't usually mean the back four falls asleep and let a goal in. So before you have a guardie for that, it's the same back four. What are they doing? Honestly, that's shocking. Come on, I'd really expect a win here. Ben White. Wilf's had a really bad game. 6.3. Not really been on the ball either. That's sad. Usually much better than that. Oh, I'm going to go very attacking. I really would like a win here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, here's not to be, sadly. One all. Um, real, what a really quick crap game that was. It's just a typical game against bottom league on FM. You always see it. It's just one of those, isn't it? One all. Very sad, but look, you've got to take your point where you can. Unfortunately, you've got Triana's got a four to five weeks strain, which is completely brilliant. But on the bright news, we are still unbeaten. So that's not bad. Um, we'll play Celta Vigo next, and obviously if there's another three-minute game like this, we'll chuck in a third, of course, as well. I don't see the point why not. It'll be Levante. Um, either way, I'll join you back for the next game. Hopefully we can get a positive, more positive result than that one. Here we are. We missed Sotalo. Do you know what? I feel Sang was off about the defence. Sadly, we're not going to play all the boys again. We don't, we're missing Triana this game, so we still can't play our favourite back four and keeper, obviously. But Sotalo's back. He served his suspension. He's back straight in the team as well. I'm not going to muck around with that. He's back straight in. Um, either way, we'll crack on to this game. Um, that was a very quick, weird game. I didn't really feel myself for the last game, I must say. That was just bomb the league, not a lot of highlights, just really weird. Um, 
I've always played on key as well, and sometimes I could get a 10 minute game out of that, which is just weird. Sometimes it's three minutes. Uh, usually, when it's, usually when it's 10 minutes, we're getting battered, but hopefully not much longer. We're on the way up. Sorensen, Haidara. Oh, giving away to Vignato, Pounce, Rego, Nifali, Kalechi, Wilf, Bessa. I found some good space there. Vignato, Wilf is through, and he scored. That's better. He was shocking last game, not because he, he had a bad, I don't know if he had a bad game per se, but no highlights. 6.3 rating, really not himself. Nine minutes into this game, he's put us 1 0 up. Wilfred Belonto, the man himself. He is through on goal. Um, someone in real life, if uh, Zurich don't make the group stages, I'm sure he'll leave. Like, I'm sure he's going to go somewhere, but I think he's just waiting to see if he can stay with them and play in the Champions League because I'm sure he'd like to. Um, he's still a young boy. I doubt he wants to move around too much. And um, obviously, Zurich's a beautiful place. <laughs> I don't blame him. Beltran, Tapia, Mina. Oh, nearly nicked it. Amu, Mina, Lavi for uh, Celta. Working to the byline. Amu, Tapia, Beltran. They're spreading play really well, Fontan, though. But we're, we, we're really pushing them here. We're making them work. Oh, nearly intercepted. Haidara, Amu. Good save from Bellman. Really good save, actually. Held his ground well and judged where that ball was going pretty well. Sotalo with the ball here. Nkwali. Sotalo back stick. Not headed away, sadly. Besser's got it, though. Busy. Legs were failing them then. I didn't think he'd get to it. Bellman. Rego. Bellman. Lofted clear. Sorensen. Oh, it's a really scrappy game. I'd like it, though, I must say. Oh, I don't like that, Sotalo. Come on. To be fair, right back is in his best position. Obviously, he's a centre back. He's playing there because Triana's injured. Jordi and Bula into the middle. Amu, well over, thankfully, for us. I'm just going to say a bit of concentrate. That's one. He's in focus. There you go. Sorry. Oh, do you know what? I, my, uh, some of my knowledge of FM is like how Dave, because just the buttons I don't press very often. I remember the old like shouts. I do. I've said it before. I definitely miss them. They just made more sense to me. Like these more of subjective thing. Mina, that's one. Or that's onside as well. I don't know why they're going to be checking VAR. He's well on, surely. Like I don't. How can he be offside from standing cricket? Yeah, silly. I wouldn't even check it as a goal. Hundred percent. You got to know that straight away. It's a crappy one to concede though. Um, it's hard because I really do like our defence. Um, they are young though. But I think it might be time to obviously upgrade the centre-back position. Sotalo ideally would be playing there, but the left centre-back, Javi Sanchez, might be time for him to move on. We need a more consistent back four we can rely on. We need to concede less goals. I think we score plenty, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's something we definitely need to work on. And we will, we will. Obviously, we're changing formation quite a lot at the moment just because we're in that weird, awkward position where, you know, we're um, we're pretty good. But we're trying to get into that, like, we're trying to eat at the big table now. We're off the, we want to get off the kids' table. We don't want to be with <laughs> the early bird menu and, like, drawing with crayons. We want to play in the big table. We want to eat the main course and have a dessert too. We want everything. We want Champions League. But we, we're a bit far away from that. We're still with nuggets and straws. Wilf, get the ball back. Cherokee scores, 2-1, get in. That was the weirdest tangent I think I've ever been on. What on earth was I talking about? I hope you got the rough idea what I'm saying. <laughs> we don't need to see that again. That was a pretty basic goal. <laughs> Made myself laugh. That's you know you've reached in the depths of just pure depravity when you're not just waffling onto yourself watching a team from a small island. <laughs> Cifuentes, Besser. There we go. Just play smart, boys. Besser. Cifuentes, lovely ball. Ben Knight, get in. What a goal. Look at his cute little face, bless him. 24, I think he is in the game, but I don't know how old he is in real life. He must be young. That sounds weird. <laughs> What's the finish though, Ben Knight? He won't be with us next year. I think he's already making a permanent transfer to somewhere else, but he's been a worthwhile loan. Like three goals is not a bad return for someone who doesn't play typically, but that's a very important goal. And is that a see-through assist in 2025? Mad. I've been... <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Tapia pulls one back. Right. Let's put that on very defensive and just chill out now. Waste some time as well. Where is that thing? Yes, all the time. I just want these three points. And we've got them. That might be really cheesy, but we got the win. 
Conceded late there, which was a bit annoying, but we picked up the win 3-2. That puts us up to sixth, which is fantastic. If the assistant can do that, I really don't care. Um, where are we? Oh, 52 points now. Four, still four points off third and fourth, but we're in the mix now. Like Even seventh would be conference league, so that's good. That's good. We want to get a bit of a uh, distance between us and that. Um, and then let's have a little look. So, well, let's have a Right, Levante. Probably a play. We might chuck in the Levante game as well. Why not? That because well, basically in between episodes, we'll play a couple of these, but then we'll finish off the season with Las Palmas away, which should be a win, and Atletico Madrid, who we built a bit of a rivalry against over a few episodes. I've always done an episode it just happens. So I don't pick and choose. I don't really like to show the Barcelona Real Madrid game yet because we just get absolutely mullered. Um, but I will show you the highlights next episode. But we've always played Atletico, and we've seen to be. Not on their level, but not far away from them. We've always been win loss, win loss, up and down. So we'll play them to culminate our season. Um, but I'll throw in the Levante game as well for this episode. It's been a fun one, the draw and the win. We're picking up form at the right time. I hope you can see that as well. It's okay having the dip here, like last episode, but now we're picking up points, which is the important time. You've got to do it towards the end of the season, or this is this is this is what builds your next season. You've got to make sure. And I'm looking at that league table, and I'll just blow it up now. Hold on. Um, I'm looking at that league table, and I'm thinking, oh, so we've had 10 draws, but only seven losses. We can turn half of them into wins. We're looking like up here. We're easy third, which is mad to think. But there's a few games you can pull back on and think, oh, I probably should have won that or whatever. I mean, there's not ones I can think. Well, last powers at home. Yeah, you got to win that. Either way, we did have a few injuries in the middle of the season, so we'll never know how good this one could have been. Anyway, we'll be back for the Levante game. Um, I won't I won't tie up this one yet. Obviously, we're going to play this game, and then um, I'll join you back for the next episode. So I'll be back in two seconds. Unless I didn't show you and forgot, I will just slightly recap, because I can't remember if I did or not. However, this is our latest intake. It looks like another golden generation. Um, it says that, do you know what? That's very misleading. It says that quite a lot, because we really we are youth team. It's dreadful. Everyone that comes through is better than the last ones. But um, see, like, look, he's a five star apparently. I don't see much in him. He's 15 though, so it's not fair to even comment yet. Miguel, Tomio Valina, which has got good determination. I can see something in there, but physically doesn't look very good. And only five for eight. Juan Jesus, a right mid. He's got Sank about him, but again, like they're not amazing players. I just wanted to recap and show you them in case they turn into anything. Might be worth looking as well um, before I forget. The um, oh, there's Calpi. Um, Ibarra is one we bought a few. Um, I don't know if you remember. I bought him for 175 grand. He's been playing in our second division, um, our second division team, and he's becoming really good. Like looking like an actual. Um, an actual option for us, which is mad. Um, he's come on leaps and bounds. Probably next season we'll get a little look in, which is great. Um, I mean, I'll definitely try to. Um, other than that, we've got obviously Mark Calpi, who's just developing well down there, playing a bit of football. Next year could be a really big year for him, Mark Calpi, that is. Um, but we look at our under 19s team. We've got some, we've definitely got some quality there. Uh, where are they? Bill, Tamina, uh, Alvarez. Where's he? Um, are they all in San Rafael? Yeah. Is the, the main ones, obviously. We've got Calpi, Ibarra, um, Andre, Oligakal, Egerson. And we've obviously got a fair few out on loan as well. Just wanted to recap my little youth team there. Obviously, saying we're definitely trying hard with it. Um, if you look at the, what we've done, but, I mean, our, our junior coaching is ridiculous. I used to the youth recruitment's really good too. It's saying we always try to bump up every now and then. And our stadium's nearly done. I don't even know where we're going, but that'll be. Um, soon as well very soon let me try and while we're here try and improve the youth stuff again uh, all that try affiliate club as well uh what do we want come on do it okay wait oh no back down Oops, nearly pressed the wrong button and got myself sacked that would have been really embarrassing <laughs> anyway let's pick a team here so oh sorry i've already done that uh, see who's playing, uh, because I prefer to play him than Shuri, really. Um, he's not been amazing signing. I must say, it's probably one of my low points of this um, <laughs> signing on the free transfer. It was pretty lame, but it didn't work out. But things don't work out. So Tarlin and Sanchez at the back four. And um, yeah, I think that will do. We'll go with it. Oriana's going to be picking up it, playing a game, because I think um, 
what's his name, Milanese. He's played far too much recently, so he'll be playing today. Anyway, um, I fancy us to win. I don't know why. I think we're just on a good run of steam at the moment and um, with head of steam at the moment, and I think we're on a decent run. But we'll see, because every game's really hard in this division for us. It just seems like we make an absolute pig's ear out of most games, so we'll see. Um, very quiet start, but McQuarrie's on the ball here. Headed away, Bardi. Such a player, Bardi, by the way. Give him a lot of space here. Please show him down. He'll pick up a ball and just kill us in a minute. De Frutos. Trilly. Campagna, who's also a decent player. Mustafi. Headed away. Frutos. Don't let shoot. Bardi. Frutos. Oh, that's a sitter. As the, as the commentator said as well. I was expecting that to fly in. Oh, is there an injury? Besser. Oh, that's not good for the culmination of the season. That's a bit sad. Um, what's our options? Pablo Torre? Really? Aranda? No. Ben Knight? These are all attacking players mainly, which is a bit rough. But I suppose if we do Torre and then... Oh, yeah. yeah that Nikwali's more of that type of player. Then we'll switch him. Right, that'll do. It's not ideal, obviously, for Besser because he's a really important piece of our team. Cherokee's over a free kick. Good save from Itor. It's really long range. I didn't expect that to go in. But it's nice to get um, Cherokee having a few shots on target because when he picks up a bit of confidence, he usually has a good game. Come on, make it that ball. Satala. Oh, end of the highlight, sadly. Pick up a win today would put us up to, I mean, joint fourth. It'd be mad. But obviously, a lot of hard work to go in for us to pick up a few points here because they're, they're putting up a good opposition for us. Oriana. Quali, Vignato, plays the ball wide for Monsalve, plays it back to Kalechi, Javi Sanchez, Cherky, spins on it, Sifuentes, can he pull a ball back? He can, Wilf, he scores, get in, Sifu with the assist, lovely little finish from Wilf there, didn't hammer it and hit the player who was literally next to him, small deft touch to put it beyond the keeper's reach to the left-hand side, really like that from him, um, that's really overcomplicating a tap-in, Frank. But, you know, that's how I am. <laughs> I thought it was beautiful. <laughs> but anyway, that's the important goal. Very important goal. Hopefully we can build on that and get a second and try and dead this game off before half time. But that's never been our style yet. Hopefully, which I think we're trying to build on Salve going forward again. Vignato. Can he get a ball through? Wilf blocked. Cherokee scores. Get in. A bit of luck. Good bubble after the shot from Wilf. But he's picked up a goal. Get in. Oh, I can't remember the last time we scored like two in quick succession. That is literally the next highlight as well. And the 20 seconds later, Vignato could play. Wilf gets a shot blocked. Vignato gets it back in to Cherokee, who taps in 2 0 to Ibiza away at Levante, which is a fantastic for us. We just got to try and keep this. Look at that 38 39. Another highlight before half time. Hopefully, not a lifeline for him and make our second half just a pain in the ass. But <laughs> we'll see. Sarachi, Morales, of course it's a goal, honestly. I hate Jose Morales. Every time we play him, he scores. It's an absolute nightmare, honestly. That's half time. So they fall one back. I'm happy with the shots on target, boys, but we've got to get that goal, that little buffer back, because that is proper knackered us. Sanchez, Nakwali, Wilf, got some space. I like that. Oriana plays out to Sifuentes, who's having a good game, bless him, 34 years old. Ryan Cherky, good save from Itor. Probably should have scored, though. We had two on the keeper then. You'd probably expect something to go in. Ryan over it. Campagna heads away. Piaka. But Marco Piaka, what is going on? Just be safe with the ball. Bardi headed away. Good, good, good defending. I don't know who that was. It's probably Sitar, though. But, oh, that's stressful, honestly. Let's give them a praise. They are playing well. Bless them. I'm going to give them a good praise. Well, well in. <laughs> We should probably look at a few changes now. Um, ben Knight, I feel like it's a good shout for Vignato. He's having a pretty good game. Who's knackered there? Not really anyone, obviously. Monsalve is, so we'll bring on, um, let's bring on Varela for Monsalve. Uh, maybe Lavery for Wilf. Just a bit of a different option. We'll do that. Come in, that'll do. I like Lavery too. He works hard. He's a harder worker than Wilf. Wilf is just quick, so he looks like he's working hard, but he's not, you know, he's just rapid. <laughs> You're running past everyone. Shane Lavery's a bit more of a dogged, determined striker, like a old pit bull style, you know, like Tedders. You know? <laughs> Pablo Torre, Ryan Cherky, Vignato. Lavery's making a dying run. Can he get a ball back through? Can't, sadly. Morales. Okay, so break his legs somewhere quick. Sir <laughs> Archie. 
Lavery. Oh, I nearly did what I was. Do you know what I was talking about? Chasing people down. And he did. He's forced him into an error. So Fuentes can pick up here. We can rebuild from the back. Sifu. Lovely ball. Lavery. Sure on goal. Shot. Good save from Aitor. Not a really cultured finish, sadly, from Lavery. He kind of just shot it as soon as he got it. Cherky's over a corner now. Headed away. It's an entertaining game. Nilton. Oh, Roger. Why have they all got initials? What's wrong with this weird team? That's not Hyun Min. That's just a guy called Son, who I don't know. Oh, he ain't coming off for a bruised shoulder, Sifu. Please. Oh, highlight for them. It looks like Campania. Good. Well, in Nilton. Javi Sanchez. All the way. Lavery flicks on. Can someone get it? No. Mustafi will pick up, though. Trilly. Roger. Oh, that's Roger Marty. Roger misses, whatever his name is, honestly. Goal for them. Oh, such a shy. Nearly. Just such an annoying goal to concede. They've got a last minute highlight. Come on. Please. I beg. I talk for them. Head it back, boys. Sanchez. Well in. Nilton. All over the top. Lavery. Can he do it? No. No. A one on one. Come on, mate. Oh, wow. What is that from them? Booed it into the stands. Throw in. Got some time, maybe, to get a ball in. Oriana. Corner. We score from the corner. Seen. Honestly, shirts off and everything. No, I'm really not doing that. Trust me. Chirpy. Oh, that's so bad. Sifu. Oriana. Chirpy. Oh, it's all over. Two all. Really good performance from us. We should have won. We had 10 shots on target. Should have been not even worrying about that. And we've dropped back down to eight. It's such a difficult league this year. But on the positive side, look, we're, we're two points off fourth. Champions League is not far away, but winning that would have been so much better. Either way, what an exciting game that was. That was much better than the other two, I must say. Um, so this is where we are. We've got what we got. Six games left of the season, two hard games. So any extra points out of those games are going to be crucial for us to get into some type of European football. Obviously, I think we had a fantastic season anyway. But um, either way, I'll play in between episodes. I'll join you back for Las Palmas and Atletico. Come on, boys, let's push on. Let's uh, try and get into this uh, European football of some type. I'm sure we can do it. We just need to focus and play well. Barcelona's a right off away. We're not going to win there, are we? <laughs> but after that game, come on, we can do it. I'm confident we can. Thank you for joining from this episode. Um, sorry, it's been a bit of a long one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. My Your feedback makes me want to do this. If, if there's no feedback, I can't do this. It's, it's not about money or views. I just love seeing people watching what I do and talking to me. It's fantastic. And I always respond back. It's just great. Anyway, I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching. and. Um, of the IBC.